Philip Lin Hour. Uh, this evening, I'll be taking you on a topic, nutrition. Uh, nutrition is a topic that is coming to, come to everybody. It's a thing we do daily. It's a thing we are used to. Uh, I will be relating it to oral manifestation and some systemic diseases. Um, <coughs> at the end of this uh, teaching, Every one of you will be able to define classes of foods, will be able to define food constituents, will be able to know the right choice of food to take, will be able to plan their food, their diet, will be able to draw a diet plan for yourself, which can guide you to eat good, which can guide you to live healthy, which can guide you to be in the time of good health. Uh, there are a few points I would like to point to before I go forward. If you look at the <coughs> blackboard, you will see that one of the most important things that every human being requires is to live healthy. And uh, <coughs> it's also good that we are in a noble professional that cares for the mouth. As you all know, the mouth is the gateway to the body. If the mouth is sick, the whole body is sick. If the mouth is healthy, the body is healthy. As you also know, I was just listening at the television, the at the television yesterday, I saw the Surgeon General of the Federation here in the United States. He just came out of the conference and as he came out on a conference, he made a very crucial point concerning this topic and taking on this issue. He said, Americans will have no option than to eat well. He said, it's not eating good food, but it's eating the right food. There's a difference between eating good food and the right food. So, I want you to understand that the choice of food you, you make for yourself, you eat for yourself, you plan for yourself, determines how healthy you look. If you make a wrong choice with your diet planning, you will not be healthy. But if you make a good choice with a diet planning, you look healthy. If I may ask some of you, do you know classes of food? Can somebody mention one of the classes of food to me? Go ahead. Come again. Uh, I, know, I, I want you to um, give it the right name. You see, foods are classified under six subheadings. And let me just give you an example. One is protein. So, can you give me now the remaining? Carbohydrates, that's one. Can somebody ask that? Give me one. Yeah, go ahead. Fats. Fats and lipids. Can somebody uh, at the back there give me one? Protein, you already said, uh, carbohydrates, and we have vegetables. Vegetable. I, didn't, I didn't hear you well. Please. Vegetables. Vegetables. Uh, vegetables are on the rough page. I wanted you to group it where it belongs. Go ahead. Yeah. Mineral salts. Uh -huh. Yeah, I need more. Carbohydrate is one, yes. Okay, if carbohydrate breaks down, what is the end product of carbohydrate? Sugar. We have two types of sugar. We have simple sugar, we have complex sugar. Which one is it? They start, let's assume the, uh, the common rice you eat, or uh, spaghetti, you eat, or noodles, you eat, when it breaks down, what does it break down? Simple sugar. Simple sugar first. So, that is it. So, um, if you are planning your diet, let's assume you are planning your diet, you need to consider all the classes of food. Like we have just all said, carbohydrates, protein, fast and lipids, mineral salt, and uh, is there anyone who are missing again? 
rough age. Rough age which embodies almost fiber. all. Is that the same fiber? Yeah, it's fiber. That is the one that people, that one is silent. People used to say six classes of food. Uh, but I also read, I also checked in the database, I saw roughage. They said it's the seventh class of food. So <clears throat> I said, oh, I talked before. They said the roughage is mainly the vegetables and some, some of the fruits that we also eat. They are embodied into the roughage. What is the purpose of the refuge? To enhance digestion. Because sometimes it is difficult for some of us to excrete out what we have taken in. <laughs> sometimes it's difficult. <laughs> and you know how hard it is. <laughs> I have a friend, a friend of mine, he said to me, he said, anybody who eats and eats and eats without going to the toilet. Okay. Then after seven days, they will bust. <laughs> so, that is it. Okay, like I said, I was relating these classes of food to our uh, department, the dental hygiene department. Now, can somebody tell me the importance of nutrition in dental hygiene? Caries prevention. That's one of it. Can you tell me how it works? Well, if you don't consume as many sugars, then you don't have as much acid for If you don't consume so much sugar, that is one. That's another one. If you don't eat in between meals, you must be able to plan your meals. If you eat in between meals, caries will come. You see? And secondly, too, when you eat, you rinse. Each time you eat, even if you drink, cook, even if you drink anything, rinse. 